Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. I'm sitting here in front of my custom MK3 template. I'm going to make another video today. I just made a 30-minute video going over all the features. It's available on my Twitter through Periscope, but I wanted to make one for the YouTube viewers. This one's going to be considerably shorter. We only have a little bit of time for this phone runs out of memory. This is the custom MK3 template. I'm going to put a link in the description. There's a link right there to where you can download this template for $20 took me hours and hours and hours and hours to make this template because I had to assign functions to every key. I have scales going from the A scale all the way for every key mapping out the A scale. So I'm going to quickly go over the functions real quick in just a few minutes real quick for everybody on YouTube. Thanks for everybody that's made a purchase on this. If you're considering it, just look at some of the functions that it can do real quick. We have a play we have a record and we have a stop button. We also have a restart, erase, and a tap button. These functions link up to the transport so I can control Fruity Loops, play, stop, record, tap, the tempo out. The erase button will erase notes. Anytime I push record and I record notes in the playlist or the channel rack and piano roll and Fruity Loops, I can push erase and it's going to erase that. In fact, anything that is selected in Fruity Loops, highlighted red, notes or patterns or boxes, if you hit erase, it's going to erase those. Also, mute does the same thing. I can type here. If I don't like it, I can just push mute while it's still recording. Um, we have the button right here. These buttons link up to the different octave. I have each minor scale mapped out, A through G, and it's going from A negative 1 all the way up to A7. So each scale has four octaves. They're linked out to the pads. You can play it just like you would in scale mode on machine. The pads right here are all blue. Every other octave is actually turquoise. You might not be able to tell, but this is turquoise, this is turquoise, and this is turquoise. So you can actually see the different you can see the different octaves in the root node of every octave. I had a file button, which is the save button. You can hit that real quickly and it'll save quickly. I'm sorry for this blurry camera. We have a settings button. That button right there brings up the settings inside of Fruity Loops like the MIDI audio options. I have a browser plugin selection. That brings up all the all the plugins inside the browser, plugin browser. The arranger button right there on the left right here, that's actually going to bring up the playlist or the arranger for Fruity Loops. This mixer button will bring up Fruity Loops mixer. This plugin button will bring up any effects on a channel. So if I have channel 1 selected and channel 1 has 10 effects on it, when I push that button, all 10 effects pop up in Fruity Loops and I can see them. This button right here does the same thing. It's the channel effects button. I'm going over these right here. Man, it's crazy because you can't really see this. But uh, this is the sustain button. I made a sustain button. It will sustain any notes that are typed in. A legato button. I have a pedal button. I have a portamento button. Turn the portamento switch on and off. This is the portamento amount. I have a chorus button, which is a universal control for chorus, tremolo, and reverb. These will link up to any VST plugin that you open up. This page right here is page four. It's blank. It can link up to any parameter that you want to manually inside of Fruity Loops. This is page one. It comes with a playlist button a channel rack opener, a piano roll opener, a mixer button. It has an extra menu button which is a f extra menus. It has a maximize which maximizes any window, an exit window which exits any window, and a channel effects button which I showed you opens up any channel effects. If we go over to page 2 it's linked up through track 16 through track 23. I can control the volume and I can also solo and mute out each channel. This button right here is the pattern button. It switches between pattern mode, song mode. This is the step button right here. It switches between step mode on and off. This jog wheel can jog through and browse sounds in your Fruity Loops library quickly and effectively. You can also open and close screens. I think I went over everything. Um, I have a modulation wheel. This modulation wheel will link up to any VST you have open to the mod wheel so you can modulate any VST. I gotta go ahead and end the video now but I just quickly went over all of the presets and all of the settings inside the custom MK3 template. It's available for 20 bucks. Go to my channel. I have quick tips every day on how to utilize machine and Fruity Loops together. I also have more information on this subject. I'm Cadillac Tracks. Check out my MK3 custom template.